Famous coming at you live and direct from Los Angeles, California. Chorus and Verse. Chorusandverse.com. I'm King Famous. You can catch me kingfamous.com. Want to talk for a minute about digital distribution and how patient one must have to be in this day and age to wait while the album is being processed. Now, no matter what company you might be using out there, there's a handful of them. TuneCore is one. CD Baby's one. I'm sure there's a handful of others out there. Email me at kingfamous at hotmail.com. Let me know which one you're using. So four months was the waiting period for the latest album, which, thankfully, very proud to have released now with a group called Da Da Da. The name of the album is Jersey Beat. Jersey being New Jersey. And the whole idea of the album was to have fun. And for those of you that are favorites of the the genre of rap music before it was taken over by a more angry undertone you might enjoy this album Jersey Beat by Da 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 now when you you're waiting for your digital distribution to happen you'll do a few things you'll you'll give it a couple months as most websites will wait you to ask a couple months and you you might email them back and say hey is this actually happening are you guys doing this because you're you're turning over the music to them now if, if you're one of those people or groups or you're having someone manage your stuff and you don't read the end user agreement you could be basically turning over your entire music rights to the particular distributor if indeed they have that written on their side of the contract. I've always wondered why we must sign off end user agreements on websites with the site that's performing this service yet a lot of the time when we're providing content meaning our music and our creative endeavors which are now packaged digitally we're not proposing an end user agreement. We basically have a yes or a no whether or not we're going to use it you know, for instance, if you read Vimeo, if you read uh, broadcast sites like Justin TV or perhaps Ustream, in fact, Ustream TV, which I read a month ago, they own they own your stuff. Or, uh, in other words, they have the right to republish, repackage, rename, rebrand, and use your content, music, video, etc., etc., to the end of time. So you're basically saying, here take all my stuff do whatever you want with it and that doesn't necessarily mean you're gonna be recompensated or compensated at all for your product I sometimes think we've been presented with this beautiful idea that this is better for us that it's better that we as creative people just give our songs away give our movies away give our rights away Yet it's the same group of people that for a long time have produced creative projects and creative contents. The same group of people that still owns that. It's just been shifted around. I think it's still within your power. Or, or, or you know, do it however you want. I'm just, I guess I'm speaking from an experience with the internet lately and especially with distribution uh, that is the artist's pet peeve in some instances in this case in the case of King Famous for sure how often will you converse with a stranger and ask him to lead you uh, you know lead your banking account matters or help you rearrange your apartment you wouldn't do that you wouldn't go up to a stranger and say hey can you come in my apartment help me rearrange my sofa I'd really like that so why are we giving these people our tracks? It's with the promise, of course, that the track, the music, the movies, whatever it may be, 
will get to a greater place. But indeed, it is advisable, and, and I hope everyone's doing this, to be signed up with ASCAP or BMI. And I, I'm advising that because those are two of the oldest uh, music conglomerates or unions or groups, what have you, that have been around forever. And to this day, TV and radio and movies are still using those services to pull tracks for their particular projects. I often wonder where we fit in in the tier system, in the structure, in the cast system. Now, it's true. The artist can move anywhere up and down that cast system at any time. And it is because that creative artist possesses something unique to them, but common to others because of the form that it takes, in this case, song. So, after all of this, I hope I've made it clear that even though we are presented with the promise of the magic beans, we shouldn't necessarily be planting those beans. Maybe we want to save them. Put them into a safe or dissect the bean. Learn how it is made. Make our own beans and sell them back. Something to ponder. Hit me up at kingfamous at hotmail.com. Search for the new album by Da 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 Jersey Beat on iTunes by searching Da 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 Jersey Beat. That's J to the E to the R S E Y B E A T. I'm King Famous. You've been listening to me, chorus and verse. I'll see you next time. Peace. Mr. VIP, yo, I'm Mr. VIP, yo, I'm Mr. VIP. It's a video secret, I flirt for free. I toured the world from here to Japan. Got girlfriends in foreign lands. Put albums on the racks to generate the greenbacks. This is not a demo, it's the genuine artifact. And I'm the one who's showing you off. I can make you look hard, I can make you look soft. When you get to the set, smile and be nice to me. Yo, I'm Mr. VIP. We're throwing parties at all your fake artsies. Carrying around briefcases full of money. In between scenes, we're talking and joking. Outside, the stars chilling, gossiping and smoking. And we got the script, now get the honey dips. Glossy, full coated, succulent lips. Hula hoop rotation, merry go round hips. On the website, alone, one minute.